Hey everybody, it's Jake Dieck with Pixis Lab. I'm wearing gloves and goggles because today we're dealing with bleach and Kaibin told me that I had to wear them. So I wanted to break down the SP210 bleach concentration direct pore handheld meter. This thing is so beneficial by comparison to the standard titration methodology. I wanted to show off just how easy it is to conduct a test. To conduct a test on your SP210, you're going to want to turn it on, obviously. Then you're going to want to use DI water to zero the device. I like to rinse it a couple times just in case. Fill up that sample cell with DI water and then we're going to select zero on the home screen. After we've done that, we can take our bleach concentration. This is just standard store-bought bleach. We should be anywhere from 5% to 6%. Pour that directly into the handheld meter, and then we're going to select read. This read out at 5.5%, exactly where we would picture store-bought bleach to be at. And when you're done testing, it's vitally important to take DI water again and rinse out that sample cell. We don't want bleach residual to stay inside the sample cell. We don't want to dry anything up, crack anything, ruin anything. So make sure to rinse it with DI water or tap water just to make sure that the handheld is safe. Calibration is also super simple. You would do a zero with DI water, and then you can calibrate to a known 1% sodium hypochlorite concentration, uh, whether that's something that you find on the shelf or something that you have in-house. And then you can also calibrate to your titration method residual. So conduct your titration method, get your residual, and then use that as a calibration point for the handheld device. If you guys are interested in this SP210 bleach concentration direct pour handheld unit, it's fast and it also measures for temperature, which is vitally important as well. Again, if you guys are interested in this, reach out to us, hit us up on the email, give us a phone call, head to the website, do all the cool stuff, all that stuff. And uh, it should be here somewhere, probably over my face or something. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll catch you guys on the next video and reach out if you're interested. I'll see you on the next one, bye.